The whole plan of this was to turn a concrete basin, empty, unloved basin lake into a nature habitat. And as you can see today, it's, it's worked extremely well. We're at the bottom of Norse Mill Park. This used to be an old 1930s um, leaky um, baiting lake, which uh, when we inherited the job was um, not full. That was water and it had uh, numerous leaks on it. Um, so we started off at the top of the park, which is up here behind you, uh, where, which is the site of where the, um, the Coventry Underground Canal flows. Um, part of our work, so we took a feed from the underground canal which is an existing canal and brought a new feed right the way down through the park um, and down and into this section here so the water flows into this section here so the, the, the lake has now got a constant inflow and outflow of water. It's come from Norsville Park which is up here so what we did was we cleared all of that and then landscape that to match all of this really so it follows the theme all the way through so the aim is that you can walk from Norse Mill Park into the centre right into the centre of town going through predominantly pedestrianised area so we've now just landed in the old gasworks site which as you can see is still up for lots of development um, so this section here was the site of an old um, gas meter house um, so one of the big blue canisters, so hence we've recreated that, but called it a, a, a mound, a telly -sabby mound maybe. It's very, very popular. In the summer you have hundreds of people down here with their children playing and, and running around on here, so it's a lovely inner city area. So we're standing in front of the Zen Arch, um, which is a lit bridge that goes over the brook. The brook, which came from the original park at the top, now flows down through here. Um, and this is now planted out with a wildflower seed mix uh, to increase biodiversity. We've got over 100 English native trees in the area and we've got a number of bird boxes and bat boxes to uh, encourage habitat to come and nest and live here. So at the moment we're, we're right under the bypass. This used to be an old um, uh, highway storage depot. Um, so when we took this over, um, it was still full of a lot of the highway kit. So a lot, all the highway kit had to go. And then we've created the final bit of the park under here. 15 metres long and five metre high. Uh, climbing wall that then um, was painted up by a local artist. So these are all lit, uh, so these are called hedger screens. So these are screens that cover the main columns. Again, trying to encourage biodiversity in the area. They're planted out. Uh, there's a number of those around here. Uh, there's also all the ground planting that sits all the way around here. And lots of staging and seating and all the signage and lighting with the big halo lights that come on at night. Music's played in here 24 seven. So there is an ambient music that sort of sits behind it all. It was a hard project to work on and, and certainly when you come back and take people through it like yourself, you appreciate what, what you know what the team has done and you know we had long days and long nights but overall you know we it's it's a beautiful project that that's we've been lucky to have worked on.